What's up guys, I'm your host Albert Vartanian and this is The Parlay Today. The Blue Jays dropped their fourth game out of their last five last night. The loss to the Twins put them a full game back of the New York Yankees for the second wildcard spot in the American League. And listen, backing the Jays on the line recently hasn't been very profitable, but Michael Singh has gone to the prop board instead to find some value in the Bluebirds. Recently, I've been picking the Toronto Blue Jays to sort of come out on top in one way or another, but with the team in a bit of a slump, let's look for some value picks, starting with second baseman Marcus Semien. Semien, like the Blue Jays, has been in a slump of his own. He's just 8 for 38 over his last 10 games and has just three extra base hits over that span. So that's not good for him, but betting-wise, it could be some good value for us. Same thing goes with teammate Bo Bichette. Bo has reached base actually safely in his last three games, but he's just 10 for 38 over his last 10, again with three extra base hits. Finally, let's quickly highlight Jose Barrios, who takes on his former team tonight. He held them to just four hits last week, but the Twins have proven to be tough outs against the Jays this season. Take the over on Marcus Simeon total bases, take the over on Bo Bichette total bases, and take the over on Jose Barrios total hits allowed. Staying in Minnesota, the 0-2 Vikings are coming off a heartbreaker from last week, and we'll be hoping that their home fans can give them the boost to take their first win of the season against the Seattle Seahawks, and that's Easier said than done. Seahawks QB, Russell Wilson loves playing mini. He's 7-0 and against them, and that streak has a very good chance of staying alive. Here's Pat Mayo with his best bet of Week 3. I'm Pat Mayo, and this is the Week 3 NFL Best Bet 2-0 to start the season. And we're going back to the well that we went to in Week 1 with the Seattle Seahawks as less than a field goal favorite, minus 1.5 right now at the Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings are better than their 0-2 record, but they're also not great. We need to change what we thought about them heading into the season. This offensive line is straight up bad. Delvin Cook, he's banged up. Probably going to play, but at the same time, he left the game three separate occasions against Arizona with injury. So one more untimely hit, probably the end of him. And as we've seen, at least through three quarters of each game, the Seahawks offense is potent and Minnesota has yet to stop anyone. So Seattle, an elite NFC West team getting less than a field goal on the road where they've been excellent the past two seasons is the spot you want to be in. Seattle, minus one and a half. Moses Malone, Larry Bird, and Magic Johnson are all three-time winners of the NBA's Most Valuable Player Award and could be joined by a fourth member come the end of next season. With the Warriors destined for a bounce-back season, Steph Curry has a chance to put his stamp on the league once again. Here's Noor on why Curry could join that illustrious group of players. Yeah, it's me again. You can keep scrolling if you want. I won't be offended. But if you're still here, here's my pick for a sixth man of the year. This probably isn't the sexiest of choices, but I'm gonna go with Patty Mills. I could have easily done a redo there, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. He understood the bench assignment and helped deliver the Spurs their 2014 championship. And even though father time comes for everyone, his shooting still has not regressed. Just this January, Patty Mills set a record for most three-pointers made by a reserve for one team. And joining a team with these three pretty much guarantees you spacing and opportunities, so I think Patty will have plenty of shots to go around. We saw the Nets battling injuries last year, and if that leaks into this season, expect Patty Mills to get even more shine, which would only add to his resume as sixth man of the year. Well, that's it for the parlay today. I'm Albert Vartanian, and don't forget to follow us at the parlay on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, and come visit us at theparlay.com. 